My name is Jesse Sedlock. I'm the lead brewer here at Morgantown Brewing Company. I've uh, been brewing for Morgantown uh, in about five years now. Um, done some work for Penn Brewery in Pittsburgh, and I have a master's in brewing sciences from Auburn University. Uh, quick and dirty of the brewing process is we take malted grains, uh, we steep them, and make them as like an oatmeal out of it. Okay. Uh, then we strain them to then become essentially barley tea. That tea is then boiled um, where hops and other additives are added for bittering of the beer because at that point it's just a very sugary syrup. Okay. Okay. Um, so the boiling allows us to bitter it with different additives as, as well as hops. Um, once it's boiled, then it's chilled quickly and added to the fermenter with the yeast where fermentation occurs over the course of two weeks to a month. Um, and then after fermentation, it's put into a conditioning tank or filtered where then it's carbonated and packaged. What's your definition of flocculation? My definition of flocculation would be when most of the sugars are used up after fermentation and there's enough alcohol present, the yeast starts to bind back together and create strains and that's when it starts dropping out of solution. So how exactly do you guys do it, use uh, flocculation in the brewing process? Flocculation helps with the filtration of the yeast, it clears it up. So during the flocculation process it also helps bind some of the proteins that were left over from the grains. Um, that once they fall out of solution, it makes it easier to draw off clear beer. Okay. And it helps when we run it through our filtration, which is a diatomaceous earth filter, it helps it bind to the, to the filter pads and helps us get the clear beer out of it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the yeast that uh, we use here, mm -hmm. that you use here at the Orange Company. Yeah. Um, Are you our, train? I, I enjoy um, 1056. Uh, from White Labs. It's uh, pretty much a straight ale yeast. It it's, doesn't have much characteristic other than that, but it's a great flocculator, which I really like because a lot of our beers, we don't want to filter them because mm -hmm. filtering can remove some of the flavors and color from the beer. So if we can get a good yeast that's a really good flocculator, we'll stick to that one. And that's, that's really it. Yeast is a great, a great thing. It's one of the most studied organisms on the planet. Um, it's still not really wildly understood. Um, you find something new about it every day, um, and it really is the backbone of brewing. I mean, of course, you can't have beer without yeast. But it really is something that needs to be studied more, and it would be very beneficial to the brewing, not only of beer, but also distilling of liquors, wines, and other food processes to know a lot more about what yeast does. Excellent.